Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, Marcus, Michelle, and we will be presenting about this possibility of uh, doing a bowel diversion by endoscopy with no incision and in a magnetic, using magnets. So as Michelle told you, to work with this field, we have to work with companies. And I'm gonna offer you to judge if my presentation is gonna be commercial or not. That's my possible conflicts of interest. And the two diseases that we are just blowing out the world is obesity and diabetes. When they come together, this is a black hole of 96% of unmet needs. So the bariatric endoscopy field, it is growing uh, to fulfill uh, like a gap because we have now is medication, then you jump for surgery. And what our vision is bariatric endoscopy with medication, uh, we can fulfill this huge gap that the patients that don't qualify for bariatric surgery and they don't benefit uh, from uh, behavior modification. As you can see here, uh, every single uh, specialty that works with uh, chronic disease has a middle option like orthopedics, like cardiology. And uh, in obesity, we don't. So we have clinical treatment and surgical treatment. So we think that endoscopy can fulfill, uh, and this is a vision that is growing all over the world. I think we are gonna be working in between the clinical and surgical treatment, interfacing with both. And as you can see here, what we can offer to you right now in terms of bi uh, bariatric endoscopy. We have intervention in stomachs. We can put, uh, the device can occupy space in the stomach, space in between the stomach and the adenum. We can modify the anatomy in an effective way in the body of the, the stomach. Also, we have a way to do on contrary in going to the fundus and into the antrum. Uh, and also, part of the, of the patient's gonna ingest, we can take it out. That's what we have on the stomach. And on the bowel, we are advancing uh, fast, so we can provide uh, uh, diversions for like duodeno jejunal, like uh, gastric duodeno jejunal. We can, as gonna be the matter of this presentation, cause a detour or a deviation, a bowel one with magnets. Also, we can act in the mucosa by remodeling the mucosa of the proximal bowel with tension of uh, helping treating diabetes. So the topic of this is gonna be the endoscopic jejunal ideal bypass. And as you can see here, it was presented before. This is not a new idea. So you can see here in the better drawing, this is, was 2009 and this is experimental. When you just go to the right side, the same year, 2009, and this is a clinical case of uh, duodenal obstruction for cancer and was treated successfully using very rudimentary magnets. So what we can offer you right now, and this I think gonna uh, be the, the highlight of the sessions in terms of presenting to you a very sophisticated magnet that can pass to the lumen of a colonoscope, a pediatric colonoscope, and it can form a shape like an octagon and also can be maneuvered from outside. So uh, the idea, is uh, basically what you're about to see. So we're gonna perform a colonoscopy and we're gonna intubate the ileum for at least 50 to 70 centimeters and we can use an overtube to, work, to fix that in place. And then we go by the mouth, past the right angle, 40 or 50 centimeters. Then we're gonna find ourselves what are called drop zones. By transillumination, we can find each other. Also, we're gonna use the aid of uh, radiology. So this drop zone, gonna put one against the other, and uh, we're gonna deliver uh, the proximal magnet and the distal magnet. So from outside, what we have is joysticks, and like a paraglide, we can uh, move those magnets until we will feel the resistance, and we can watch that. Then we let it go, we're gonna cut the threads, as you can see here uh, how it works, and you can see the radiological image of the forming magnet, the side to side, a, kiss, a kissing anastomosis. And as the time passes after we cut the thread, you will expect for around seven to 10 days that those magnets will pass through. So not having the problem of toxicity uh, that, we, that was raised on the, the previous brilliant presentations that precedes me. So you can see here, that's a partial detour on the bowel being formed. And as you can see here, in bariatric surgery, that is the oldest bariatric procedure known that is a jejunal ileal bypass. Gentlemen, this procedure is banned, should not be performed. 
So why we are doing that? Because we are not doing the same. First, we are doing not a, a, a total lateral. We're doing lateral, lateral, so partial detours. So we're going to have the same impact in efficacy. Also, not going to have the same impact on complications, as you can see here right now. So again, to show you, this is a lateral, lateral. It's not a terminal lateral, and it's not end to end, as you can clearly see here. So I have to present you. This is the very first paper recently published. It was in Ostrava, Chess Republics, the proof of concept, uh, very er early one, with 10 patients. And if you drive your, uh, your attention to the bottom, we're going to see this 10 patients, three with just obesity, four with diabetes, and three with prediabetes. And you can see from left to your right, on the orange you have diabetic patients, on the blue is prediabetic. So you can see the reduction of uh, fasting glucose at one year, we are following these following this patients up to three years. And you can see here the weight loss. In blue is assessed weight loss, and in orange is percentage of total body weight loss. As you can see here, the total body weight loss is 14% at month 12 uh, is a very interesting result. And you will see here how it goes. Per protocol and by safety, we need a laparoscope to see if the, how the anastomosis forms and how it that. So you can see here, they form very well, and you see the halo uh, of this anastomosis, it, is, it seems very uh, attached to each other. And the other is how you deliver that uh, in the luminal. And if you can, I, and if the, the quality of presentation allowed, you're gonna see the other uh, light of the, the, the scope that you can see here at 12 o'clock. So, Two months after, it's the same result of Dr. Michel Gagne show you. I dare that you can point where is the anastomosis. Where is the tissue reaction? You just see three lumens. This is the beauty of this anastomosis. The safety of this anastomosis was presented before. And that's this, uh, this astonished everyone that sees that. And uh, how it goes in terms of x-ray, you can see here the detour. Are presented. There was no major complications. After one year, three of those patients have some mild diarrhea. They were corrected uh, with uh, diet uh, measurements. There was no malabsorption, malnutrition on those patients reported uh, on this series. And now what we are doing is that we just begin uh, uh, a month ago in Argentina what Dr. Michel Gagné asked us to do, the prospective randomized uh, trial that we're gonna put 25 patients. We are now in the phase that we're doing the running in, meaning the training one. Uh, we have done two cases, patients are doing fine. And uh, we definitely will have some uh, new results of this clinical application of endoluminal uh, bowel anastomosis with magnets, I think, by the end of the year. That's what we're gonna cover in terms of evidence from this technology, and you can see here how happy the crew was, and you see, and you go, you your drive your attention to the right side, you can see a clinical case where the magnets are fully attached, and the laparoscopic view, because again, in this run-in training cases, a laparoscope is the menace, so we expect to remove the scope. And this uh, point us to gotta be the challenge. So, building the endoluminal anastomosis is easy, and safe. Getting to the drop zone, this is very difficult. So it requires, still requires very skillful endoscopies. It demands time. But with the new robots, with the new geolocalization, self-propelling, I think that once we prove that we have the proof of concept, that gonna be a lot of investment. And it's you to know that two surgical laparoscopic papers were published on that matters with lateral lateral anastomosis, one in Czech Republic and one in Greece, and they show the same results that we are having in, uh, in endoscopy. And that will open the window in a portal dimension, like we are about to do in Florida and Colombia with Dr. Zundel, uh, working in bowel obstruction. And imagine, Professor Gagne, that you're gonna have the sleeve gastrectomy, and we can go out and do the anastomosis that some of the new procedures for diabetes are showing us. So I'm very excited and very honored to be part of this session, and uh, thank you very much for your patience of listening to me. Thank you.